What's up, boys and girls? Today, I have a very special video in the store for you guys. Why is it special? Well, because today is a day that you, Android brotherin or sisterin, I, Chris Chavez, will be showing you how to root your HTC Evo 4G. Now, I know you have a lot of questions. You're probably asking yourself just what the heck is root and why does everyone make such a big deal about it? Well, well, easy, easy. Okay. Let's just start out with what is root. Root or root access, this is also known as super user permissions or SU. Now, it means just that. You're getting these like super permissions to do stuff or mess with your phone in ways that you normally can't. Another way to describe rooting your phone would just be jailbreaking for all you ex-iPhone users out there. So you may be asking, who exactly is keeping my phone in jail? Well, if you have an Evo, you might be able to say that HTC is actually locking you down uh, with their Sense UI. But a lot of people feel like it bogs down and um, slows down the phone overall, and they would just like to have the option of maybe choosing whether or not they want Sense UI. Um, which is basically just a skin on top of stock Android, um, or if they just want just plain old fugly stock Android UI. You can also say that Sprint may be holding you back or locking you down because Sprint actually wants you to pay $30 a month just to be able to wirelessly tether or turn your phone into a wireless hotspot. There are a lot of perks that come with having root access on your phone. Um, I'm just going to go through a couple of them here. Some of the major ones are having full control over your CPU frequencies on your phone. What that means is being able to overclock or underclock your phone's CPU um, according to however you see fit. So you could have it so that when the screen's on and you're actually using it, you could crank that CPU, you can actually uh, clock it all the way to its maximum 1.2 gigahertz. It goes up to 1.2 gigahertz. That's how fast the CPU is, but HTC usually caps you out at about like 800 or so. But actually now you would be in control over how you want to use your phone's CPU. Another example would be if your phone is sleeping or the screen is off, you could underclock your CPU and just make it so it uses about this much of the CPU uh, frequency versus like the whole thing. So when the phone's sleeping, you can actually extend your battery life like twice, twice fold. One of the biggest perks about having root access on your phone is you're no longer going to have to rely on HTC or your carrier in providing firmware updates to your phone. So right now, everyone that has an Evo, we're actually stuck on Android 2.1. Um, if you have a G1, for instance, you're stuck on like 1.6. So we're, we no longer rely on the carrier or the handset manufacturer to send us a firmware update and then for them to send it over the air and do all that stuff, which takes forever. Now we rely on developers who are a lot more quicker and efficient and they can get it to us a whole lot quicker with no middleman in between. Uh, another awesome feature of Root that a lot of people really, really like is being able to turn your phone um, into a wireless hotspot. Now when you root your phone, you could use a lot of apps that requ require root access on your phone or super user permission. So uh, there's actually an app called Wireless Tether for root users. And what it does is it just lets you use your phone's internet or your 3G uh, connection to just become a wireless hotspot and you can just uh, use your laptop. Or if you have a PSP or like a Nintendo DS or some sort of handheld gaming device or something, you can actually access the internet now using your phone. Pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, a big one. Also, another big one um, is being able to store and run apps off of your SD card. Now, this is actually one of the features of Android 2.2. Uh, you could actually back up some some apps to your SD card and run them from your SD card. I think I had like 170 apps on my G1, uh, but because I was rooted and I had a separate little partition on my SD card that was like 500 megabytes, I was able to store just tons and tons of apps and not even be able to use up like half the storage space. So uh, one, it's good because you're not using up your phone's memory, so there's not going to be anything to bog down your phone. Two. If you ever have to wipe your phone or do anything crazy like that, you'll have all your apps saved there and everything. It's 
It's awesome. It's pretty cool. Now, basically, the biggest perk out of rooting your phone would have to, hands down, without a doubt, be being able to install or flash a custom ROM. Now, I know a lot of you are already asking, what? What's a ROM? Well, I kind of had a hard time trying to describe exactly what a ROM was, so I had to get uh, help from my friend on Twitter, Metal Messiah, and uh, he describes it like this. Uh, a ROM is basically a version of the Android OS that has been modified and tweaked to enhance the user experience. Impressive. So basically think of it like this. What you see on your phone now is a ROM. All the apps, the icons, the home screen, the widgets, all that stuff that's on there, and the version of Android that you're running, whether it be Android uh, 1.6, whatever you have on your phone right now, that is essentially a ROM. You're just running a stock ROM. Now, Android has a huge modding community uh, full of developers, uh, Cyanogen being our lord and savior, that take ROMs and they modify them and tweak them and stuff. Some developers will actually take a ROM and they'll uh, take out apps and put in apps and um, just basically modify them a lot. They can even port other versions of Android uh, even from a different phone. So if you notice the Droid X has a little bit of different version of Android with all those apps and stuff than say the Evo does, technically someone could come in and they could port those different Android OS's uh, to different phones and stuff, which is super awesome. If you've ever seen some of my uh, older videos where I had my G1, I actually was able to take everything that you see on a My Touch slide uh, the OS and everything with all that, those themes and all the cool apps and stuff. I was able to take everything from that and port it over to my G1. Pretty cool, right? So now those ROMs I was talking about before, those ROMs, uh, if you have a custom one, those ROMs are actually what holds root inside of it. Um, those ROMs are kind of like a cracked version of the stock ROM, but they have root permissions in there or super user permissions. So root isn't anything that is outside of a ROM. So don't think that like your phone has root and then you have your ROM and no matter what ROM you put on there, it just somehow has root magically on it. Uh, it does not work that way at all. You could flash a stock ROM and that stock ROM, if it doesn't have root inside of it, then it's just stock ROM and you can't do anything really cool with it. That's actually how you get back to a normal stock ROM. You just flash a stock ROM that doesn't have root on it and that's it, pretty easy. Same thing goes with Android firmware. So Android 1.6, 2.0, 2.1, Android 2.2, those are not outside of a ROM. It's not like your phone has the firmware, Android 2.2, and no matter what ROM you flash, it automatically has Android 2.2. Uh, it doesn't work that way at all. It's the ROM that has those firmwares. So you can flash a 1.6 ROM. You can actually flash a 1.5 ROM. You can flash a 2.2 ROM, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So um, a lot of people get really, really confused with that. But make no mistake about it. Your phone doesn't have the firmware. It's the ROMs and um, what's inside that has all of the goodies and stuff. Oh, one more thing. Uh, rooting your phone actually is not permanent. It's always possible to return your phone to a previous state or its original state, say if you have to send it back to the manufacturer for whatever reason, um, or back to your carrier if you're trying to get a refund or something. So you're not really doing anything that can't be undone. Now all these benefits don't come without a downside. Since you'll be doing things to your phone that only uh, developers should really be messing with, uh, you run the risk of turning your phone into a very expensive paperweight. But all that means is uh, to do your research, be careful, uh, read, 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 read a lot before trying anything crazy or attempting to modify your phone at all. So let's just get to my video where I'm gonna, going to be showing you the three most important things that have to do with your new life in Android. The first being a root using the simple root method. That's actually the way I chose. I, I tried doing the unrevoked method, but um, that one was a little bit more complicated and didn't let you, let you do cool stuff like uh, flash a custom recovery. And that leads me to number two, flashing a custom recovery. This is where you go every time you want to flash a new ROM or you want to uh, back up a ROM that you have already uh, got set up and you like and you want to try something new, you could actually back up your ROM and return to that one later. Recovery is extremely important. I cannot stress this enough. 
Um, this is actually where you will go, especially if something goes bad. If you flash a bad ROM, or if uh, you install something wrong on a ROM, and you keep getting a bunch of forced closes, and you're just like, what do I do? Uh, it's easy, actually. You just go into recovery, and um, you just either wipe and start over, or flash something different. So, as long as you have recovery, I try to tell everybody this, as long as you have recovery, you have everything. And third, last but not least, uh, I'm going to show you how to flash a custom ROM. Now the ROM that I'm going to be showing you how to flash is going to be CyanEngine. Uh, his Android 2.2 Froyo ROM, it's actually called CM6. I'm going to walk you guys through it and everything, so go ahead and click part 2 of my video right over there. Let's get this party started. 